Greetings, Minecrafters, and welcome to another exciting discussion on all things well-being, another Minecraft discussion. My name is Dr. Kimberly Quinn, and it is my joy and pleasure to discuss all things brainy, discuss how to become the boss of our brains, because that is what it's all about. It's what we allow in here that dictates our lives, absolutely. I'm out here with the goats. You can see Caesar is a strange little guy, but we keep him. He's very sweet. Um, King Lear over there. Whoops, where is he? King Lear over there, and then Hamlet's down there a ways. Anyway, today we're going to talk about inbox hypnosis. You might be like wondering what that's about. And the thing is, somehow we seem like we're on this secret mission to get everything done. Everything. I'm talking about answering the emails and all the micro tasks and max macro tasks and get everything done. And everything is a word, as you know. I try not to use as much as possible. I just try not to use it because polarized words are not healthy for us. Why? Because they don't re exist in reality. Everything, nothing, always, never, they don't exist. You know, even the sun which comes up every day will eventually become a supernova. We don't like to think about that. But these polarized words, it, they're just not good for us anyway. So to get everything done, think about that bar. And I think it, a lot of it is kind of unconscious. We're just, it's, it's a momentum thing. We wake up, we got the to-do list, we, you know, the emails are, are, for those of us out there in the seasoned professional adult world, that's, that's never ending and that's sort of the whole point. So we often stay up too late, we often get up early, that's me, I actually like being up early though because it's quiet in the house, it kind of get the jump on the day, but anyway, not the point. The, the point is that we often stay up when we, our body is tired or we get up way too early when our body is still tired just to take on more tasks and check boxes. And so that's what kind of what we're talking about. And even worse, even worse, we put off fun. We put off playing, adult playing, just hiking and skiing and running and monopoly and whatever and conversations and, and, and listening to each other about our day and all that. And we, we put that off to you know answer one more email or five more e emails. And I gotta be truthful with you, just cause I'm doing these videos doesn't mean I have it all down. Cause that is one thing, um, especially since the Rona, since we were virtual, that I'm a work in progress with that um, answering the emails thing. I have actually had to draw a line in the sand to set a curfew for myself, which is working, but I'm a work in progress is what I'm saying. So we gotta check all this and and then this leads to this sort of, it leads to this sort of convincing ourselves that this is a temporary state or something. And it isn't. It's a one day rolls into the next, you know, and, and um, so, we, so we fantasize that, you know, when we get, when we answer each and every email, again, every, not going to happen, we answer our emails, all of them, um, and when we take tackle and check all the macro micro tasks most of us out there in the in the professional adult world have just lots and lots of micro tasks all day too in addition to the emails and we're, we have this sort of subconscious fantasy life going on that you know we that we're actually going to complete all of that and answer each and every each and every email is just not true when you know um, in reality you know sort of this is like a hypnotic, which is hence the title, like a hypnotic state. Because on some level, we really think, you know, once I answer every email, once I do all my micro tasks and check the few boxes for the macro tasks, it is then that I'll be happy, have inner peace. It's then that I can relax. It's then that I can have a conversation with my partner or my kids or my young adult kids. Or it's then that I can go out for dinner or lunch or go for a walk or on a hike or run or ski or whatever or play with the goats. And we keep pushing that off in our day. And that's not good because, because in last any of us knew, this is not a dress rehearsal. This is the big game. I'm not also advocating, you know, be irresponsible. That's not what we're saying. We're saying to really, though, check. You know, we, we, we had done a, a couple of episodes earlier about how life is not an emergency. There's very little in life that qualifies for that or even an urgency. So spectrum, right? A little important, more important medium important urgency and then emergency I think like you know ambulance or something right so very little of life qualifies for you know that side of the spectrum that's urgency or or emergency so in reality when we're in this inbox hypnotic trance 
one day rolls into the other, which rolls into the other, which means, what does that say about our, our valuable life minutes? Our valuable life minutes, that means, are circling the drain. Never, ever, no, more polarized words, although this is true, never, ever, ever to come back again. Never to come back again. So here's the thing. Um, the regular nature of the inbox is to stay not or incomplete because the nature of an inbox and also using that metaphorically because that's also the rest of our lives demands on us from you know all different angles it's not just the emails right and uh, like we talked about the tasks and there's also the house tasks there's all kinds of tasks and it's the nature of our I'm gonna say inbox with all you know all inclusive to be not empty right so it's just not gonna happen so this is where I like to make the analogy to, uh, I gotta get up and walk around. I, just, I have Fritos in my pockets. So if you hear a weird noise, that's why. Because that's the only way to get the goats in lately. They went on a little overnight, scared us to death, especially with the coyotes out here. They'd never done that before. And so yes, we are reinforcing their bad behavior, but I wanna make sure I get them in. And they love, they love Fritos. Yeah, and Cheez-Its actually. So anyway, so um, that is not meant to be at the inbox metaphorically speaking, for all all boxes checked, is not meant to be empty. There's always going to be stuff left to do. Just so I had done um, a video a while back on oh, Richard Carlson. I'm just going to throw him out there again because I'm reading him a lot lately. So let's just give RC a lot of credit here. He also did something on sort of, you know, sort of uh, accepting that taking care of your house Ours, our, our house is behind us, and let me tell you, it's, it's just like it doesn't end. It just doesn't end. So that was a very good thing that I read by Richard Carlson and Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. To kind of think of taking of house care as, as painting a bridge, and he brought up, um, I think it was the Golden Gate Bridge. I forget. It doesn't really matter. Think of a huge bridge. Veranzano, whatever. Painting the bridge, it's just like the minute they get to, you know, two-thirds of the way through, there are people behind them. You know, it's every day. It just goes on every day. It's never finished, ever, ever, ever. So, so we're gonna make like a little analogy to that because acceptance is the key to most problems, right? Acceptance is the key to most problems. I think that is a twelve-step saying. It's not mine anyway, but it's true, and I live it definitely. So, when we accept that, kind of like the house care thing is just gonna keep happening. Septic painting. Some of it's fun, like doing a new sexy kitchen, which we just did. Then you got septics and you got roofs and blah blah blah. It's not fun, but you gotta do it. Well, it's not different with the inbox metaphorical thing. Because it's 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 just like painting painting a bridge. Just if we accept that there's a flow of stuff through the inbox and all of our tasks, and it's not going to be complete in this lifetime, it kind of like it gets easier once we accept it, because we don't have those expectations on ourselves and we don't um, also hold hold people uh, up to that. Okay, uh, so it's not meant to be empty. Uh, okay, so D T T T D. Okay, so the, here's the thing. I don't even look at these notes. That was kind of dumb. I just wrote a few notes on a little envelope here. And the thing is, when we are wrapped up in, oh, I have to get this complete, I'm gonna put this off and put that off and put my partner off and put the goats off, you know, we're gonna do that and then, you know, we're dead. And here's the thing, once we're dead, guess what about your inbox? It's still full, it's still full and you're not here. So what's gonna happen? Well, the stuff that can wait till manana will wait for longer than manana because you're not there anymore. And the stuff that's super essential is going to get done by somebody because that's how it works. That's how, that's how the universe works. The universe fills in gaps, just like we've spoken about with other things. Where we, if we make a hole down by the ocean and you know way down where the water starts by the beach, it fills in with water. So the tasks that you have left undone when you go to your great reward, as my grandmother would say, are still going to get done. Meanwhile. You'll be food for daisies, uh, worms, or like myself, blown out in the wind somewhere. And so just think about that. None of it is worth it. And no amount of emails or tasks or projects, or the pressure of getting all that done, is worth your own happiness and inner peace. It just isn't. Think about that. That's our life minutes. And I'm not trying to be Little Miss Soapbox, you know, because I, this is a work in progress for me, especially after the Rona, because I got so used to working out of the house like many of us did right and when we work out of the house at least partially 
um, there the boundaries just dissolve. So it's not like there's my work, here's home, I'm done now, here's the family. That all went out the window. People are walking by you doing laundry and bringing dishes back and forth and you're like type, type, type to a colleague. It was got really fuzzy. It got really fuzzy. And I think for many of us, including myself, that is still a little fuzzy. And so I'm a work in progress with it too. So the main thing is that think of your, your home care, think of your inbox like painting a bridge because it is not going to be over ever and one more thing is I'm a big fan of the not to do list you know that so most things can wait and again I'm not trying to push being irresponsible or reckless or dumping it on other people I'm not a fan of that at all uh, but to just to just check you know what if there's things you just don't need to respond to just don't the world will continue to spin you know and and, and the not to do list means to just pick one thing that just isn't essential for today because I guarantee you, you can find something. I'm actually pretty good at that, okay? But you know, to, to find something that can just wait till manana, balance because, you know, again, this is, the, it's not a dress rehearsal and you know, the light, those, those life minutes, you know, that we're gonna want back at 70, 80, 90 or 110 years old, not getting them back, that's just how it is. So challenge the hypnotic inbox state Realize it's not going to be complete with all the boxes checked ever. That bar is way too high for any of us to reach. May as well dismiss it and uh, do what we can and let the rest go and spend time with yourself, your family, and your goats. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from Northern Vermont. Have a mindful day.